This morning was so sunny. It was lovely. I know, I'm same looking here. out my window now and it's pouring with rain. Oh, we've just had it here, so it's obviously swept over to Surrey. <laughs> Yeah, it's so strange. And do you know when you get that bit of sun? I had like a bit of a spring in my step this morning. I was like, oh, Same. it feels like spring's, well, it feels like spring finally. How's your week been? Let me just check my phone and see what I've been up to. <laughs> Actually, you can start off by telling us about Disneyland. Yes, okay, Disneyland was really, really good fun. The kids absolutely loved it. Had a little bit of a drama on the way there, so we got the Eurostar, but because of the time that we left, there was no direct Eurostar to Disneyland, so we had to stop at Lille. So we stopped right. at Lille. You know, it's like all the iPads, all the bags, all the, you know, mm-hmm. whatever. And um, oh, oh, Margot was at home with Mum, so I already yeah. felt like I'd forgotten something because... It was my first time leaving Margot, so that was really, really strange. But, anyway, but that was so strange. Um, yeah, so we're, it was so weird. I was constantly, I had that feeling the whole time I was there, like, oh, I've forgotten something. Like, like, it was really, yeah. <laughs> but it, but to be fair, oh, like, and this is my advice, do not go to Disneyland. If, if you've got a baby, it's not a place for a baby. Like, we didn't actually really see many babies there because it's mostly like toddlers plus, but mm-hmm. it would have been really difficult with a baby yeah anyway so um we stop at Lille to get onto the Eurostar and we get off we were like okay let's quickly get a drink kids wanted some chips getting drink chips blah, blah, blah. get back onto the get get onto the train you can take now, the kids out of Essex but you can't take Essex out the kids <laughs> yeah yeah bag of chips I know <laughs> yeah bag of chips want chips and drink so we get back on the train right and it was like we was on like a local train now Right, it's really busy. I was a bit like, oh god. Anyway, so um, did you I'm know like, that you were going to be doing that? Like, no. Well, Greg obviously booked the tickets, but it's because there's no. And we also didn't know where what we was doing. We was like real tourists. We was looking around for people with yeah. Disney jumpers on, going, "Oh, we must be going in the right place because they've got yeah. Disney jumpers on down there." Follow those guys. <laughs> and um, yeah, we and we was doing like a. Disneyland, yeah, because everyone was in the same boat. Like, no one really knew where they was going. So we get on this train and uh, we sat down. I was like, oh, my God, where's Arthur's iPad? I was like, oh, my God, where's it? What happened was, as we got off the train, Arthur had it in his hand. When we was getting the chips, I feel like I took it off him while he was eating his chips, right? So it's like this big scenario. Who's lost Arthur's iPad? Everyone's, like, shouting at each other. Then Greg oh, went, oh, let me quickly jump off in case we've left it where we were sitting. Greg jumps off the train. About a minute later, the train goes, beep, 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 beep. Oh, no. Door shut. <laughs> and the train's starting up, right? Oh. I, I've looked down. Greg's left his phone on the train. So now oh, I'm no, like, to make things worse, he can't even call you. Yeah, he's, he's off the train, right? So... Oh, don't. Honestly, the kids were like, Daddy! Like, the train starts moving. Now, Greg's, Greg's not on the train as far as we're concerned, right? Oh. So, oh, sorry, one sec. One sec, I'm lifted on a cliffhanger, but I think Margot's woke up. One minute. Right, so, you know when the train goes, do 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 yeah. and then pulls off, right? Oh, I'm no. like, oh, no. He's got off to get the iPad. Now he's, now we're on our way to Disneyland, you, and Greg's not on the train. To, how I picture it is, are you? Can you see him? And it's just like slow motion. We or, could, or you can't see him. <laughs> we can't see him. We cannot okay. see him, right? And where we was where we bought the chips from, where we thought we'd left the iPad, was like up some stairs. Like, actually, it was quite a silly idea for him to jump off anyway. But anyway, yeah, so he jumps brave. off the train, jumps mm. off the train, and 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 then the train starts moving, and the kids were like, no. Daddy! Right, I was Did like, oh no. No, they wasn't crying. It was just like, Arthur just, was like yeah. panicking. It was just like the whole panic, right? And then I could see Greg's left his phone on the train as well, right? So I'm like, great, and he's got no phone. It gets better. Anyway, about five minutes later, because I thought, oh, hold on a minute. He might have got, got on on another carriage and start walking up yeah. to us. You know, like if he's run and then yeah. seen the trains leave and just jumped on anywhere. Jumped on anywhere, yeah. Thank goodness that was the case. 
He jumps oh, so on. He was. The, okay, that's good. He was sat there for about five minutes. I'm starting to think, oh, no, he's, he's not on this train now. I've, I've not seen him. Then I see him come marching up, right? And I was like, oh, my God, there's Daddy got on the train. So everyone was like, yay. Anyway, so, so funny. then, right, so so then we, I'm like, everyone. Wait, Greg's so no being, iPad. Like, now Greg's, no iPad. I went, have you okay. got the iPad? He's like, no, like, hey, really, like, fuming. Everyone was being really negative, like, it's a goner, it's gone, you know, you're, you're at an airport, yeah. I mean, a train station, someone's definitely swiped that. Anyway, so I'm doing a few things on my phone, like, trying to do find my iPad, all of that, of course, yeah. location or something wasn't on. Anyway, yeah. so then I, I went, let me just FaceTime it. So, <laughs> FaceTime the iPad, hello, hello, <laughs> someone answers <laughs> it. No. Oh, brilliant. Yes. So- and the person that had, had answered it was someone that worked at Lille Station. Oh, fantastic. No, but we haven't actually got the iPad back yet. Don't. Yet. No, uh-huh. we still have not got the iPad. Because it's been trying to translate full, fully French emails, right? And then... Now we've figured out that we've got to send them a check. They won't take a bank transfer or anything. We have to send them a check. Who has checked the these days, exist? by the way? Do, Thank you. That's exactly what I said. You're going to have to go, go in... paperless and all that. Well, I found an old checkbook. So I've got to post them a check and then they can do the courier service to send the iPad to us. Honestly, it's ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah. So that's, and it's, sorry, I haven't even got to Paris yet. That was the journey. Anyway, no, it's Paris eventful. Really I'm loving it. The build-up. The build-up. We get to Paris. The kids just loved it. It's so magical there, isn't it? Like, just like all the detail in the buildings and the... Yeah. Just everything. Um, the rides. Sorry, I mean, but Margot's oh, really making me laugh. I can just see <laughs> top of head and then every now and then a peep of the eyes. <laughs> it's like this <laughs> little round, smooth, little bald head. Hello, Hello darling. Hey. I miss you. Oh, she's, been... she's really Sorry, filled out. Like her, her face looks really chubby. Hey, you gorgeous. Can you see me? I mean, me? she can't. She can't hear she can't you. See me at oh, all. Margot, she's looking at the microphone. Should Margot, who's that? Movements. Look, look, look. No, she's not. Look, look, she's look. she. She's intrigued by the microphone. She's really holding look her neck up, isn't she? She can really hold her head up now. Yeah, she's really. I think Margot. she looks quite like you today. I, I do. I, I your... see her. A lot of her in me. Um, I loved her, the OK sorry. cover of you both. It was oh, absolutely thank gorgeous. You. Oh, she's Hello. in again. Hiya. No, she's not interested. <laughs> right, so go on, carry on about Paris. Oh, we get to Paris. The kids loved it. We literally had like 24 hours in Paris. So we went full steam ahead, rides. Yeah. Done, we just done everything. But Arthur, he's a thrill seeker. He's mm-hmm. that little bit too short to get on all the big roller coasters. Nelly oh. could, but Nelly's more of a chicken. She didn't really want to go on them, but she Arthur want really to. wanted to. But he was too small. But um, we did take them on the Tower of Terror, right? It oh, was. Is that when the doors open at the top? Yes. And I and actually yeah, I remember that one. how scary that ride is because you know you don't have anything over you. It's just across you. It's really scary, yeah. Right? <laughs> so... The build-up. The build-up was the worst because it was, like, all spooky, like, all through, like, yeah. these... It was, like, you're in a hotel. It was scary. It was, it was scary, yeah, to be I fair. Like, I would have been one. petrified. Yeah. Well, we took them on it. But I, I, I felt like a bit of a mean parent, right? Because I was like... I mean, we, me and Greg obviously really wanted to go on it because we obviously couldn't do any rides because we had the two kids yeah. with us. So, yeah. like, any big rides. So, unless we went on our own, which we weren't prepared to do... And um, <laughs> so, what so you we, call them S- single riders? <laughs> yeah, single riders, <laughs> pair of single riders. So anyway, we was like, "Come on, it's going to be fun. It's great." Anyway, the nearer we was getting to the thing, Nelly, Arthur was just like trying not to show any emotion. He was like trying to be really yeah. brave. Nelly was really like, oh, 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 like all crying. And I was like, "Come on, <laughs> come on! Like, what's the matter with you? You know, like I was one of them parents in the queue." I could yeah. see people looking at me, like, sort of raising their eyebrows. But they were tall enough to go on it. Anyway, so <laughs> we sit on it. Oh, my God. The first bit, when I mean yeah. my stomach felt like it went flying up into mouth. the air. 
it literally, it went flying up. Well, for about the first 10 seconds, we had tears, oh. both of them screaming, oh. crying, right? Oh, no. That makes you feel terrible as well because there's nothing No, you can do. and I felt awful. I thought, oh, bad mum. Anyway, and then, of course, then they loved it. And then okay. we got off. And the adrenaline, you know, like when the adrenaline hits, and then they yeah. was like, oh, "Can we go again?" And then we obviously we did it again, like a couple of hours later. They loved it, but brilliant. That was probably the best ride that we went on as a family there. Yeah, um, and uh, we did still those show like carnival anything. shows where you see all the yeah. We done that. We see, sorry, yeah. Characters. We see the carnival. We didn't go and watch a show inside in the theatre. We just done that one. That that's amazing. Okay. That one when they come around on the carnival. Anyway, how's your oh. week been? Tell me about your week. So. Yeah, it's been good actually. So I had my um, Cosmolan pill. I think we spoke about that. Oh, recently. update me! I texted you about that, didn't? Didn't yeah, I? So I, I said so I, I had face. it. So I had quite a lot of um, pigmentation after having Edward, and I thought it was going to disappear, you know, after a year. And I'm coming up to Edward being a year now, and it's still there. You can't probably really tell on these on YouTube if you're watching because the camera. No, the I can't is, really see. You just can't really here. see. So. My skin's like genuinely quite good, so that's that's a plus. But the pigmentation's been, I mean, you've seen me in real life. It's not horrendous, but it also bothers me. It's just something that I wanted to clear. And I thought it would just, everyone was like, it's fine. It's your pregnancy mask. It will fade away. And most of it did, but then I was left with quite a few patches that I wasn't like, I just wanted to kind of look into what I could do. So, um, and I've got two weddings this year. And you know, you just want your skin to look like really yeah, clear and nice. Anyway, I know you had Cosmolan and I've done loads of research and it's coming out probably like one of the best ones. Um, so I had to do two weeks skin prep, like a skincare routine at home. That was all fine. Products really nice. Then I had the actual pill. So you go in and they like clean your skin um, and then put the mask on um, and it doesn't hurt at all. It doesn't sting or anything. It's just like a thick, almost like mud mask, isn't it? It's like a... Anyway, so yeah, I had to leave mine on for 10 to 12 hours. So I went home and then I washed it off that night at home when I washed it off I was quite puffy slash swollen for probably a good 24 hours like my face was like red and swollen but it didn't hurt like everyone kept saying to me oh like is it sting or anything I said no and I think it's because Cosmolan where you do that prep before I think it prepares the skin so it's quite a gentle process isn't it rather than it being like burn your face off yeah Yeah. exactly that's my experience anyway so then I started to peel all around the mouth and nose that first, great. Forehead completely peeled off. So my forehead's like a baby's bum, which feels really nice. Yeah, all lovely and smooth. Um, and then the edges peeled, but the two parts that I really want to peel, and I've still got another week technically of peeling if it does, were that they didn't peel. So I was like, oh. This part of my cheeks, so like the cheekbone bits, didn't actually peel. Like did yours. So what up here? Yeah. No, I know what you mean. Uh, I'm trying to think. It was more my chin and around my forehead. It was more all yeah. around my face rather than the centre. But so have I'm you got still... all the aftercare? Have you started your aftercare Yes, I picked yet? that up two days ago. So I've got the aftercare. She was like, Oh, no, see, that's got... really good and really yeah, important couple... that you do that because mm-hmm. I, I slacked a bit with that. But if you do that, I think your results will be amazing. It's just time. It just doesn't happen overnight. Yeah, and that's the thing. It's like your skin's in a skin cycle. like, And I think that the, the bits that are quite dark are obviously quite deep as well. Anyway, as a whole, I'm I'm impressed. And I guess I would recommend it. But I, I'm not going to go too far into it because I'm going to wait until I finish the aftercare, if you know what I mean. So it's like... Yeah, of course. Yeah, um, yeah, to, to, to get your full... Because you can't really... This is, this is like the first stage of Cosmolan, isn't it? Like the initial yeah. and then you have to do the... The aftercare, the so I'm gonna continue with it. But yeah, it was good. Didn't hurt at all. Like was wasn't really much like downtime. There was one day when I was really sort of flaking away. And did I go somewhere? I think I might have done the pickup. I can't remember what I done, but it wasn't um, uh, too bad. Like it was like my whole skin was. It was all like it was more. It looked more like dry and crusty. If you know what I mean. Dry and crusty. Yeah. Um, it was funny because when I actually had the mask on, where, where I was getting it done, like you can't park there. So I had to like park in a separate car park. And I was like, oh, how am I going to do this? So I've got this full like big clay sort of thick mask on. So thank God I had Paul's coat with me. So I had the hood over like this. I had the hat on and it was raining. So I was like, perfect. I can just look no. down at the 
road and just like run to yeah. the car, which was like a good sort of five minute walk. Anyway, when I got there, there was this like man standing by my car, and I was like, "Hello!" Like, and just thinking, like, no one I was thinking, "What's he doing by the car?" But I really didn't want to make any eye contact because he must have been thinking, oh, "What is this annoying. woman doing?" And uh, he was like, uh, "Love, you're parking the wrong way." So then at this point, I've had to now engage with him and turn around. And I was like, "What do you mean?" And he was like, "This is a one way street." I was like, "Oh, great!" Oh. So my car was just like a one way street. I've gone up the wrong way of the one way yeah. street and just <laughs> parked. I was like, "Oh my but god!" But why? Why are people it, so busy? Like, why was that annoying? Busy. Him? <laughs> I know he wasn't a ticket attendant. He was just, you know, just a. Past, oh, and I was like, oh, and he was looking at me. He must have been thinking, what is this woman doing? Anyway, <laughs> and it just made, made me remind, yeah, it just reminded me because we had the ticket come through yesterday. Paul went, ah, oh, he was so smug because it's usually uh, Paul that gets some <laughs> sort of fine for going down lanes in London or whatever. And it was me. And I was like, I hold my hands up. I said, I don't know. I said, I was rushing around trying to get to the appointment. <laughs> but yeah, oh, so the fine no. came through yesterday. So I've got to sort that out. <laughs> This podcast is brought to you by Dykeman, where you can find big brand trainers from Nike, Adidas and Puma at the best price. I think it's safe to say that we both love trainers. I actually don't think I wear anything else at the minute. I know, me too. Because you can even dress up a nice pair of fresh trainers. I do that all the time. I recently actually wore like a trouser suit with a white t-shirt and a pair of trainers. It looked lovely. I love that. I do think with a pair of brand new trainers, it can just make an outfit, can't it? Absolutely. So you guys, we have something very exciting to tell you about. Dykeman offers quality footwear at affordable prices. So much so that if you find an identical pair of shoes elsewhere, Dykeman will price match and give you an additional £1 back. And if you think that's great, Dykeman are also offering a buy one, get one half price offer on all Feel and Sketcher trainers from the 27th of March to the 30th of April. Oh, that's exciting. You can get a nice fresh pair for spring. Yeah, that would be great. And the offers don't stop there. Dykeman are giving a 10% discount exclusively to the Sam and Billy Show podcast listeners with code Sam and Billy 10. So that's a 10% discount with the code Sam and Billy 10, valid until the end of April. Also, make sure you check out the episode description for the links and offers. Enjoy! Mother's Day, we haven't spoken about Mother's Day. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you about mine first. So, yeah, you tell me about yours, yeah. Paul was like, oh, what do you want to do for Mother's Day? And he was like thinking of some ideas. Do you want to do this? Do you want to do that? Do you want to go for Sunday lunch? Do you want to go into London? And I went, Paul, do you know what? I was like, I really don't want to do anything. I said, I know it seems pretty boring, but I've got to be honest with you. And obviously that whole last week, I had that sinus infection again, didn't I? So yeah. I was just like a bit run down. Wasn't really feeling myself. And I was like, I don't really want to do anything. I want to chill at home. I said, what I'd really love is to have a lay-in, to have breakfast in bed, and then to not cook dinner. <laughs> so I haven't really got to do yeah. anything. Um, and so that was that. So I had um, breakfast in bed, and then the kids had made me cards and got flowers. And so I was reading all the cards, doing all that, and I sort of laid in bed for a couple of hours. And then sort of early evening, we got an Indian takeaway from our favourite Indian around here. So, But it was just nice. a very... Chilled, chilled day and yeah it had different movies on in the background all day and there was one point where I was sort of laying down no I think Arsenal was on it was a Sunday wasn't it and Arsenal and Paul's like right I'm going into the lounge to watch Arsenal and I was like oh so you're clocking off I think it was like half one I went my mother's day lasted long then yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh don't know my mine was um mine was really nice as well it was very well, I was the same as you. Like I was like, I just want to have a lay in, but yep. I actually had film crew at the door oh. at eight a.m. Oh, I remember you text me. So that's not, it wasn't. That's not fun. <laughs> yeah. So slightly, you know. Um, but the kids, like they done, you know, bought up breakfast. Had a burnt croissant with jam and a oh, cup lovely. of tea. Um, <laughs> and then like all the cards and everything else, flowers. Um, and then Nelly went horse riding. She's just, you know, obsessed every weekend. Nelly went horse riding. And then we went over to Mum's for lunch, as you know. And um, it was lovely. We had a really nice dinner. Nan and Grandad were there. Um, we just chilled out, really. It was such, do you know what? It was, it was really nice not having to cook or do anything. Of course. I haven't had a weekend. I, 
I can't remember the last time I had a weekend where I had nothing to do, like whether it be be somewhere, work commitment. And actually mm-hmm. this Sunday, this coming Sunday, is my first Sunday off in weeks oh, and weeks. So nice, you know, like with just nothing to do. Mm-hmm. That's nice. Can't what wait. I said to Greg, I want to go <laughs> to the nothing. stables. No, well, I wish it was nothing, but I'm, I'm going to go to the stables with Nelly for a couple of hours. Go and see Bambi. Yeah. I said to Nelly, I want to come see my grandson on um, Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Your first grandson. Come <laughs> see my grand, grandson Bambi. So we're going to do that. And then I'm just going to come home. And then I'm actually going to say suggest to Greg if he wants to cook a roast dinner. <laughs> oh, go for it. Greg likes cooking. Oh, actually, you're so out tonight, aren't you? It's, it's Stacey's birthday. Yes. Yeah, so we've got Stacey's so birthday where, tonight. Where it's are only you a local Chinese just a local restaurant, but how's my luck, oh. right? This would have been my first night out with all the girls. I, I can't, yeah. well, since before I was pregnant. So it's been like well over a year, or like, well, it, definitely since having, not well, since yeah, having because you had your I've birthday, not been out since it was having at your house. It was at home, was it like going out? Yeah. Exactly. So how's my luck, right? Tomorrow, I'm off to Chessington. I mean, of you know. Of course. Oh, so that's really bad. But then do you have to technically, do you have to go on, how many, who's going? How many? So it's me, Greg, Arthur, two of his school friends. Um, and then we've got Greg's mum's come in, Bertie, yeah. our nephew, and then obviously little Paul. So that's the thing. So I can't actually really relax tonight and let my hair down because I've got five children to look after at Chesington tomorrow. <sighs> so but wait, how's your love? Margot's going to be at home. She's going to stay right. at home. Okay, so yeah. not on her own, obviously. Um, <laughs> that's really annoying. You're going to what, what? What time? Mind you, you'll be getting up and leaving early, won't you? Yeah, we're leaving at ten. <coughs> but it's you know it's one of them things, isn't it? But then, mind you, if it's just the Chinese, that's what, yeah. That's... But you know, sometimes you know what it's like when all all us girls haven't been out for. God knows how long. You know when you'll get together and I've just said to myself, I'm just going to have a few glasses of Prosecco. I'm not going out after. I'm just going home after the Chinese. Boo-hoo. Famous last words. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. But I cannot be hungover tomorrow. I just can't do it to myself. Can't do it. Mm. I've got to go to Chesington and go on rides and look after children and, like, I just can't do it. So I have to be a responsible mum tonight. It's a lot. I went for dinner last night, just in the local I restaurant. I see that on I your Instagram. Go. Yeah, what, to the it Italian. Was, yeah, it was very chill. It was <laughs> nice because I put, put, put the kids to bed. It's nice now because you got sort of have like a bit of... And only where it's just in Cobham, so it's like five minutes away. So it's yeah, nice. It's so close. Like dinner, little catch up, and then home. So it was perfect. I was home last night, like half ten or something. So sometimes it's just nice. I sort of feel like I've got to that stage now where, you know, Edward goes... Well, he does go down nicely. Listen, I'm not saying he sleeps through the night because he doesn't, but he goes down for the first part of the night. So, like, I can get ready, go out, and oh, then be back yeah, in time before nice. he wakes up. It's different before he wakes up. Chapter, yeah. So completely. Um, but yeah, so you're out tonight. Oh gosh, yeah, you need to. Or maybe I just find that I mean I love prosecco. Hello, it's nice. Oh. As much as I love. Prosecco wine and champagne. Maybe don't drink any of that though, because I just feel like that is the one that could give you a headache the next day. Then what does one do? Have something else. I haven't had a spirit in. Remember at your party, Jerry was pouring those really lovely vodka drinks. Yes. Why don't you drink that? Because you won't have a headache or anything the next day. Yeah, that's true. Maybe I just say I've just got to be sensible. (laughs) The point (laughs) is, it's like. How's my luck? Haven't had a night out for God knows how long. Bear in mind, it's only a local Chinese anyway. It's nothing like, yeah. you know, we're not going into London to the club. But I've got to get up to go to Chesington the next day. I was like, great. But anyway, it is what it is. That's it is fine. what it is. We'll save our, our wild night fair when we're in Paris. Paddy. I know, I can't wait for that, by the way. Um, okay, so should we do some... Um, uh, what have we got? Some dilemmas? Should we have a little look? Yes. Right. I'll go first. Um, 
I caught my boyfriend looking at his colleagues' only fans. Oh gosh. Oh. Um, I know it's not exactly oh. cheating as it's only pictures. And he said he was just doing it out of curiosity, oh. but it upsets <laughs> me. And I feel like it's crossing a boundary because it's a work colleague. What do you think? Oh, um, so his work colleague is on OnlyFans. I mean, I would, I'm not going to lie, I would be so annoyed. I'd be, but it depends I'd be how really, he was really looking irritated. at it. Because if if someone that I worked with had only fans, I'd be like, "Come on, we've got to have a look." Do you know what but, I mean? Yeah, but you would, but you would just no, absolutely. Like I'd go to Greg. Oh, you won't believe. Look at who's look on only fans. Let's on, have a look. Who's on only fan? Let's have a look. Or like vice versa. But I feel like if he was maybe, it depends on the um, what's the word on this Con- scenario, doesn't it? it mm. It kind of depends on the the scenario and what in what she caught him. Was he doing it sneakily? What was his reaction? Mm. But then, but also, I think as well, I think a natural, a natural, oh, cough, cough. Oh, I think a natural feeling would be, oh, is something going on there with them at work? You know, like that kind of thought might go be going for her head. That's why she might be really annoyed I think as well. It obviously for because of her tone of the email I feel like this has been done kind of a little bit behind her back whereas how I said it if he come home from work and was like right she's on OnlyFans like the girl I work with like we've got to have a look that is so different but he's obviously Mm. maybe having a little look as in oh like (laughs) you know we'll see what's going on here but then maybe it's just sheer curiosity just like checking it out but does he? Do you have to have an OnlyFans account to? I have no idea. Oh, I have no idea about OnlyFans. We're such we're such moms. I might open one. Just I to have, have a look. I'm joking. Oh. <laughs> Only I've got. I've typed in. I've typed in OnlyFans like Emma F A M S. That's not going to be the right thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh Only yeah! You, straight away, you need to log in. Yeah, you're ah, not looking at nothing. So why has he got an OnlyFans account? Exactly. <laughs> I would be now. I'd be that worried be about my the fact. Question. Yeah, I'd be worried about the fact that he's even got an account, let alone looking at the girl from work. Okay, you need to mm. be asking some questions, and he's definitely crossed the boundaries. So, <laughs> okay. Yeah. So next one. Uh, my partner and I. My partner and I have been together for three years. He's. He always interferes with the washing, cleaning, etc. <laughs> it's not that poor with me. Um, he goes over everything I do. Oh, gosh. Hoovering five minutes what? after I've hoovered. Rearranging oh, the dishwasher, no. etc. And we've had numerous conversations and arguments about it. Please help. I don't know what else to do. And I feel like this is going to break us. Hun, leave him to do it. Do you, do you know yeah. what? I would just say, you know what, darling? You do it because you clearly do you a better do job it. than me. That's the only Absolutely. way to solve this. Absolutely. And he's, he's together... clearly a bit obsessed, obsessed with like, yeah. the cleaning and the whatever Which else he's doing at home. Accept it. Except, I, I would absolutely say, thank you. There we go. Yeah. My, my Put time the is hoover done. down. Yeah, that's it. That is literally end of conversation. Let him do it. Yeah. Um, Wowzers. That's that hilarious. Solves that no, one. <laughs> but you know what? The rearranging the dishwasher. If someone stacks my dishwasher, which is quite rare because I do it most of the time, uh, people. Do you like when people stack a dishwasher and it's like they really spread things out and it's all not right? Do you, does that not bother you? It bothers me. Yes, I, but but I think stacking a dishwasher is quite a personal thing, and people have Very their own personal. ways of snacking. Snacking. People snacking. have their own ways. <laughs> snacking. You're stacking like a snack. <laughs> no, yeah. people have their own ways. <laughs> she likes it. Of stacking <laughs> their dishwasher. Don't they, Margot? She's like, who said snack? Who said <laughs> snack? Someone said snack. <laughs> okay, so uh, okay, ask us anything. Um, what is the most annoying question you get asked? I know. Go on. How did Towie start? Oh, that How is the one. How did it all begin? I've got uh, to, uh, I have to um, go with you on that one because that is not, so people don't annoying. understand when they ask that question, right? It is a really, it's really hard to answer that question because it's quite common. Really There's a lot that went down with how Towie began. So when people ask me that question, I'm like, my head goes, 
in a nutshell, Sam, in a nutshell. And really, <laughs> really, you should just say, oh, you know, they just plucked us out of Essex and put us on the TV. But no, that is a hard one. And you know what? People that are listening now are probably thinking, well, tell us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what would you do it another time. It's a long one. Um, okay, so <laughs> chatty girl. <clears throat> do you worry about age? Uh, sorry, do you worry about aging? I'm turned. In, I'm turning 28 next month, and it's really starting to bother me. Hun, you need to get onto Revive Collagen. <laughs> <laughs> replace that collagen that's depleting from your early 20s yeah um, no true okay so drink lots um, of water i mean different to appearance i feel like I, well i guess we're all still young aren't we we're in, our, we're in our early 30s but i'm not bothered about age at the moment like it really doesn't affect me no like i'm really enjoying being in my 30s like but i really enjoyed being in my 20s i just feel like it's a different era of life like mm-hmm. in my 20s like obviously pre kids especially like I don't know life felt very carefree and actually I feel like now I'm in my thirties I'm a lot more like aware of like skincare and what you put into your body yeah. you know like I just feel more educated on it but mm-hmm. yeah like your health I just think well being I I do think it's nice to still I think for me like I I don't worry about it but. I'm definitely, like, thinking about things like, okay, I have to keep up my skincare routine, drink loads of water, yeah. take your collagen, take your vitamins. You know, like, I do, I definitely, mm-hmm. now I'm in my 30s, prevention is better than cure, is what I think, personally. Yeah, and also, maybe that she's um, a little bit anxious because, I mean, I don't know what her situation is, but she might not be in the job that she likes, or she might not have, sure. you know, her her home, or she might not have a partner, that kind of thing, or... Um, you know, there could be more to it. But I just think that, mm. like, this era and this sort of, like, world we're living in now, that, you know, it doesn't matter if you're not in your early 20s and you've not settled down, you're not engaged, and you don't have a house. It's not really about that anymore, is it? And there's so many, like, women, especially out there now, that are put, sort of, like, doing careers more than ever. Yeah, so completely. if that's her problem, if that's what she's worried about, do not worry because, you know, everyone's just doing things at their own pace, aren't they, at the moment? Yeah, completely. Okay, so what is your favourite TV show of all time? I think we know what mine is. Friends. What's yours? <laughs> oh, I, I'm at, uh, I actually think mine is as well. Friends. Yeah? Yeah. Who's your favourite character on Friends? Um, I do think Ross is funny. Love Ross. I had it, I had it on yesterday, actually. Well, we have it on constantly in our house because Nelly is the biggest fan of Friends, right? And actually, sometimes so when it's good. on, I do think, oh, she loves it. She No, no but Samantha, when I mean, like someone got her these um, Friends, like they're like these cards, Q&A cards for Christmas, right? Yeah. And we, I, I answer, on, honestly, I was hysterical the other day, right? She said, here, mum, take these, ask me the questions. Like, it's like a game. Yeah. She gets every question right, but stuff that we don't even wouldn't even think of, right? That's she brilliant. knew every answer. I couldn't, be, but the more I was going through, I was like, you know, when you're hysterical because I couldn't believe how much she knew about friends. Like she That's loves brilliant. it. Next time I round yours, I want to play that with Nelly. That'll be oh, a honestly, it's really yeah, it's a really good game. She she honestly does. She she knows much more because then she did it on me because I thought I've been watching Friends for years. Do it to me, but yeah, I, I she did a bit rusty. I am very rusty, but she loves it. I mean, sometimes it is a little bit near the mark, and I think, oh no, does she? But I don't think she takes any notice of like some of it, like some parts of it. You know, like because they say oh. like certain words mm-hmm. and topics of conversations yeah, I, it's innocent I do under- but I, I do get that but sometimes I feel like are they better off watching a program which is funny and witty and a bit more like like yeah. worldly and like very pa- vocabulary and like personality rather than watching like cartoons oh, that are just a bit mind numbing and a bit shit yeah like YouTube and it's just like the same old like I feel like with oh. friends it's really witty and quick and I think that's probably yeah I mean okay yeah it's, maybe Nelly's maybe Maybe he's a bit too young, but if she finds it funny and she's enjoying it, then yeah, why not? <laughs> she does. She loves it. <laughs> she's an old girl, that one. She's an old girl. She is. She is at heart. An old soul. Right. Okay, so last question is, what do Paul and Greg do for work? You want to go first? Yes. Yeah, so Greg, obviously, we film for The Family Diaries. 
Um, and also Greg works in the city a few days a week because he works in hospitality. So he has done pretty much, well, all of his life really. Um, but we laugh now because, I mean, obviously Greg's like, he, he kind of juggles. Like one day he's filming, next day he's in an office in the city. So it's kind yeah. of a bit of a mixed bag. And we also laugh that Greg is a bit of a influencer at times like well, he doesn't do many posts but he does do the odd post now and then no he's um, a um and we do laugh a, about it Dead one second so no, greg is a public figure there you go, public the figures word. yeah so yeah he's yeah we just he just juggles it i guess with both nice. filming and office so Paul, for those that don't know, actually I don't think many people do know, Paul's got a luxury transfers and lifestyle service. Um, he launched that company this year and it's been doing amazing. So private jets, luxury cars, all over the world. And yeah, he's super busy. And Can he sort us out of PJ to Paris? <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, can you give it to Tell us? Tell him I'll do him a few posts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, this is the funniest thing, right? So when he, because I was like, where's your Instagram? He's like, well, we're just going to kind of, they're building the website and stuff, but a lot of it's just done internally through referrals at the moment and stuff like that and contracts yeah. with companies, um, which is great. And I was like, you need to get out there on Insta. He's like, I don't really at the moment. I was like, well, what is it? So I followed him and he was like, oh, like, because basically when you like look on the Instagram, there's only like a couple of followers because they've not done anything on Instagram yet. Yeah. And, and I'm like one of his first followers and I think it, I think he was a bit like, oh, why did you do that? I was like, what's wrong with me following Hi. you? Hi. <laughs> well, soon um, to be. <laughs> yeah, soon to be. Um, so, yeah, and they've just got an office actually in um, Farnborough, so, which is not too far. Well, about 45 oh, minutes from here. So, Yeah. And he's not really a public figure anymore. He doesn't do anything in the public no. eye. He doesn't. He doesn't he's, ever post on Instagram. It's like it's ridiculous. That ship. That ship sailed. If he had an opportunity, like I don't know, uh, jungle. <laughs> I wasn't going to say that. Actually, I was going to say like um, I think if it was something like Top Gear, and then I think he'd like step back into the limelight. <laughs> <laughs> step back in that's gonna happen anytime step soon step back out step back yeah. in <laughs> i'm back um, okay so um actually you'll know be quite good billy for next week if you could um write into us any kind of like mum confessions so like something a bit like a bad parenting moment you know like that'd be quite funny yes. wouldn't it? where you have those moments yes. and, it's because, like, and, and don't parenting. hold back because yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we've all been there and mm-hmm. it, they're probably nine times out of ten very relatable. <laughs> and Absolutely. we'll think of a few ourselves as well. Exactly, we'll do that. Um, and that's it. And don't forget, guys, you can listen to us on Amazon ad free. We're on YouTube and we'll see you next week. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Hey, bye.